what is going on guys awesome nurture here back again playing jurassic world evolution continuing on with the secrets of dr Wu. so we're here on isla muerte east where we just finished up the island in the last episode and if you saw that we released some of the new cretaceous dinosaurs or all of the new ones so we got the iguanodons over here in this pin we have the dinosaurs i still have not learned how to say carcarodontosaurus there we have two of them roaming around in there and then over here we have the new dreadnoughts which look really cool and speaking of dreadnoughts i guess i'll go with the first one here i'm going to give it a name because a awesome viewer wanted me to um kind of get my shout out stuff so i'm gonna shout out so you can also check out the youtube video uh, channel of this person but it's um i believe it's uh it's i forget it's it's ken there we go so it's ken so you can check him out oh no storm's coming in you can check him out on youtube if you want to see some of his videos and stuff he does um you can do that but I, um, he was asking about dreadnoughts and stuff, so I thought I'd name a dreadnought after him. So it's Ken. There you go. There is a dreadnought named specifically after you, dreadnought number one. So I hope you enjoy that. So since we finished everything, let's go ahead and move now to the next island. Um, I was gonna say, I forget how you do this. Um, we will go to Takano Research Facility and see what we've got to do here. So we've got no missions. So let's go to the island. And here we are. We are at Takato Secret Research Facility. Next level. And so this is an interesting I island. Your contributions and reward you. Oh, look at it. So we already, it's kind of like uh, Isla Sorna, where it's already set up with a secret or a base and everything. So you can see it's already got a so wall I built up and everything. Things are happening that I don't know about. Things that should concern me. Good thing I don't much care. <laughs> oh. However, a favor, if you please, if there's any chance that I could get, you know, eaten, I'd appreciate eaten. a heads up before eaten, the heads off, okay? Huh? So we have kind of a thing already over here. There's not much to really do on this island, as far as I know. You just have these missions. So we're first one here, of course, our first hybrid, the Ankylodocus. I hope you're ready to start. So let's go into the research facility. Nope, that's the fossil center. Yes, this is good. Is there a research, or As do I have to put one? Let's start, shall we? I'll skip the formalities and get right. Okay, to so it looks like we have to, to research a hybrid put a research facility now. Off-grade research center. Get it out into an enclosure. Once you've done that, we'll move on to the next step. Time is wasting. A new hybrid, is it? Great. And I really hope Dr. Wu is going to give us access to these babies. Think of the Let's go and throw that down there. <clears throat> kind of want to build up this island a little bit just so we can try and get some star ratings going on over here. So we do have uh, some money. Of course, this is supposed to be a secret facility, but we still allow guests in and everything. So that's kind of fun and weird and everything, but you know. That's just how the game is. Um, so let's go ahead and... So over here I will... Like I said, this could be the waste of money. But let's go ahead and get guest stuff going on. So that way we have... There we go, guest. I forgot what I was doing. Let's get a hotel in. As far back over here as we can get it. see if we can do <clears throat> upgrades on this so we'll go with improved what yeah it is a medium I think a medium should be good and then we'll go outage protection 3 hopefully that'll be oh it's got 26 I may have to redo that we'll just have to wait and see Just add that along in through there. Then we'll add our 
all of our normal guest items. So let's go with the clothes shop right in there. The restaurant. Put right on the corner there. And then the arcade. Just so we have that we can use that area over there. So I think this is done now. Now we can do our research for the hybrids. Oh wait, that's just location. Genetic, there we go, the Ankylodocus. And we'll have to wait for that to process. Ooh, it looks like it's going pretty fast, actually. Okay, so it looks like we don't have a ranger team either. What is this obstructed now, this by? Is the progress I expected. Oops. Okay, now let's see why a ranger station won't go in here. Oh, apparently it's hitting stuff. Okay, let's try it over. What is this? Off-grid fossil. I may move that fossil. See, do we have the thing unlocked already? Ankylodocus. Yeah, apparently we do. Okay, so let's go ahead and increase our success rates. Because I believe these things cost a lot of money. Oh, it's not actually too much money. Let's increase its lifespan a little bit. We'll go with... An era gene. Because I don't want to raise it too crazy high. So it's already 162. Let's go ahead and do that. So at least live a hundred years or whatever, which should be fine. I don't know how many it would need. I assume it will live alone. So we'll get that going. Okay, so let's add. We're going to run out of money here soon. Ranger station is more important to me. Oh, yeah, I forgot they don't clip on to stuff. There we go. And then we'll have to wait for the Anklo thing to come in so we can make some money. So we can probably get like some Struthiomimuses or something going. Yeah, let's go with at least one of those. Because we have to get a dino in the park to be able to get people into the park. So we're losing money like crazy right now. And of course I got rid of that fossil center <laughs> which could have used to get fossils. We have 11. We'll probably have to switch that out for a larger. Because say, hey, come on, this truth in should be done pretty quick.
There we go. Struthiomimus in the park. Go ahead and remove some of these trees. There's no water, so we need to add water. That, and then we need a food. How much do, oh yeah, I forgot it's a tree. So put the tree one there, and the small herbivore right there. There we go. So we should have nice facilities, maybe not the best ratings and everything. But it should at least be getting people into the park now. Are we making a profit? No, we're not. Let's get another Struthiomimus going. How much do- oh yeah, I say fossil things are pretty expensive. If I remember correctly, off-grid fossil, yep, three, th oh, I had just under the amount. Ugh. Come on, I should have done incubation speed, <laughs> I, I did think about that. So we have 11. Is there a guy just standing here looking off of the site? But I assume we'll need to use this area. Yes, I know. There's the Struthio, and the Anklo is about over halfway done. Yay, we're making $43. <laughs> Woo, we're rich now. Let's clear out these locations. We got Takano Research Facility. And then, of course, the Ankylodocus. You Ankylodocus. Those look like, oh there they are. It's like those look like Struthios to me. Wonder if there's any other friendly dinos we could easily release into here. Nope, can't afford Sinoceratops. What about Triceratops? Nope, not enough money. Need cheap dinos. Arc the orns aren't too bad. They cost. What about Gallimimus? Gallimimuses are a little better. Go ahead and do a Gallimimus. That at least increase our rating a little. How's the ankle? 81%. It's going pretty good. There's a whole seven people. How many people are in the park? Poor variety, yes I know. 48 people in our entire park. Food ratings poor and shopping ratings poor. How is it poor? But yet we have a five star facility. Makes no sense. How are we going? Oh, that Anklo is going to be done before the Gallimimus is. Gallimimus is a waste. Off grid research, ECU. Oh my goodness, we're so low on money. That's the only bad thing. You don't have hardly any room. Of course, I think you have a lot of part. Yeah, you have all this room to work with. But that's about it. If I had the money, I would extend this over and bring it down. Just have more room over here. Bring this straight down. There we go. Here's the Ankylodocus. I wish it was light out, but it's not. Here we go. Look at the new dino. It's got a stupid head. It's got like a Diplo head, but with spikes on it. Kind of like the Anklo. Spikes along its neck, which I think they had those. Spikes on its back, which are new. Like an Anklo has more like armor, but you know, it's whatever. And then, of course, we have the Anklo tail on the end of it. The ball tail that can whip and crash things. 
La 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 la. I wish we could be able to see. We need like the other side. Let's go ahead and release the gal minus two. There we go. We can see it a little bit better. Look how pretty it is. Provide you with a list of dinosaurs that I want introduced into the same. Kajingasaurus, Stiggy Moloch, and Brachiosaurus. I can't afford any of that stuff. So please follow them to the letter. Hopefully, though, this will start getting our ratings up, though, to be able to afford those things. Let's see what our rating is now. 79,000 a minute, which is pretty good. How are things doing now? Can we increase? Nope. Not enough people in the park. <coughs> So let's go see if we can do any additional dinos. Kajingasaurus maybe? Since it's a one, which I'll probably have to do multiple of them. Kajingasaurus, nope, can't afford that. Stiggy Mollocks. Stiggy Mollocks. Not enough for that, but if we wait a little bit, we'd be able to do a couple. And then, oh, Brachiosaurus, is, yeah, can't afford that. So I've got to now play the waiting game until we get enough which i may go ahead and put the fossil center in so that way i can start you know getting fossils and everything and then selling them to make more money so i think i'll once i hit that amount which i may be at it yes i am off grid fossil center which of course this will take like all the money And so I'll just be gathering fossils now until I get the money. And I'll bring it once I have all of these dinos to be released. So I will see you then, I guess. And the last dino, the Brachiosaurus, finally got done. Uh, this took forever because managing money and everything on the park is uh, kind of hard. But I think I should be good now with all these dinos. And I upgraded to a large power station. I... Did get the expedition center and the fossil center done, but I dug for all the fossils possible, and so there was absolutely no more to be done. So I deleted them to get the money back. So I put up another hotel, a large power station, and um, yeah, just another viewing gallery over here. Uh, places still aren't full yet, which I'm kind of surprised having two hotels and everything. But now that we've got a good distribution of animals, there we go. Capture a photo of the hybrid drinking, which it looks like it's doing right now. Be sure um, to get me images of the Ankylodocus. Let's go ahead and I don't know where the entrance is. I think it's over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Which unfortunately now it's time to play the waiting game. Ooh, its water is getting kind of low so it must not have been drinking. So I guess I'm just going to sit here now. I thought I would be ready to record again. But I guess now I have to sit here and wait for the Ankylo to drink. So I just got to sit here and wait. So this will take a while. So I guess I will see you <laughs> whenever it starts drinking. And I'm just going to kind of drive around in the enclosure here and wait for it. So I guess I will see you then, which looks like it tur is turning around and its water was getting low. Maybe it will go towards water now, but I will watch for it. And if it does, I will bring you right back. Get away from me, Galamimus, Truthumimus, whatever you are. But I will sit here and watch it and see if it starts drinking. If it does, I will bring you back. So I will see you possibly in a few seconds, if not, whenever it's done. Are you going to drink? Drink, 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 drink. Well, I'll see you whenever something happens. And here we go, guys. It's now starting to drink. There we got its head in the water. Let's see if that counts, hopefully. Did it count? 
Apparently not. Let's try again. There we go. Ankylodocus drinking. Oh no. Now we've got I diseases everywhere. In photography. Nothing as good as this, mind you. Asset cannot be treated with the existing medical supplies. Oh shoot, so that means we gotta do research. Research. I'm receiving reports of an unknown disease afflicting at least one enclosure. It seems the no, that's not has been infected. Without a cure, our only option is to move the dinosaur to another of my facilities. We don't have a lot of time. It should be that thing. I need to unlock it. Treating the specimen, you'll need to transport it off island and quickly. Oh, so we gotta transport it. All of them? Send the Ankylodocus off island? Adding to the list. Can we treat everything else? Requires unknown cure to medicate. Why is it in it this thing? It should be that. But I guess it's not. What do we got here? Oh my god, look how much that cost. So apparently we can't treat any of these things. We've already supplied that feeder. Uh, we'll loan the dinosaur. Hopefully that'll give us our research for the disease that's spreading around. Unknown disease. Take it away, take it away. Look at all the sick dinos this, well, our gal might, oh yeah, it's all the uh, dinos from the mission, not. So the Struthiomimuses, Anklo, stuff like that are okay. Or gal mimuses. Everything else is all sick. Goodbye, Ankylodocus. Come back when you're healthy and give us the disease that or cure that we need. I did the swallow weed. I wonder if I could have We need to prepare the cure. An outbreak could be catastrophic. Come on. Apparently just gotta go with that weird shape. Wait for disease to be identified. Come on, disease, be identified. When I have dinos, they're gonna start breaking out. Do, do, do. Come on, go a little faster. Can't even do anything. Thought we could at least heal him. I could probably shoot and heal him. <sighs> oh well. The Stiggy Mollocks are gonna be upset. At least they're all nice friendly dinos. So if they do start attacking the walls and trying to break out, they won't, you know, do too much damage. Looks like we're about halfway there. And we're living on a prayer. We're still not full. Of course it's raining now, so I think actually I think if it was raining more people would want to be inside. Come on, disease. We're getting ever so closer. Sick dinos, poor sick dinos there. The Stiggy Mollocks are about to be upset. The Kajingosaurus is about to upset. Brachys have a little bit of time. Don't break the walls. Oh no. Getting ever so closer to upset. We're about three fourths the way there. Come on. Come on. Push. Let's look at our sick times. Look at those Stiggy Mollocks. They're so cute. Big fat heads with little bodies. Our Kajingosauruses, and of course the Brachiosauruses, the coolest dinos of all. Everything's getting worse, come on. We don't cut all day. Ever so close, I don't know if we have to research 
this item then? Because it says you get it from mission one, which is what we're doing. But I don't know. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Got low health. Oh, it's their health that's going, not their comfort. Duh, I'm stupid. Bring the Ankyloticus back. The threat is still real, however, so proceed with caution. Even though these animals were extinct before my there we, research, so yeah, this must be it. Not enough to bring them back if we can't Two keep minutes. Them alive. You'll need to help with the cure. I put the parameters of what's needed in the files. Foot and mouth disease. Why are they putting their feet in their mouth? Let's go ahead and see if we can try and heal up some of these dinos. Whoops. I crashed. So let's go with. There's an ankle all the way over there. Don't ram the car. Right in the face. There we go. Now we've got the disease. You can't let this dinosaur die, or my research dies with it. Understood? We're administering the disease or cure now. Ooh, I hit it. Come on, disease cure. Ankylos or Ankylodocus, fine. Oh, the darts way off on this. That one's healthy now. There we go, that one's healthy. Come on, Kajingasaurus. Come on, all you stupid brachiosaurus. Whoops. That's a hit. Just have the one left. I know you're back in there somewhere. It's not you, is it? No Yay, I did it. Yay, no diseased dinos. Transmission incoming. Yay, we did it. Mission number one, ankle adocus is now done. We got stress and air improved lawyers. All sorts of fun. The animal is cured. The animal is cured. This was no random outbreak. It was Instead, caused by something. Our facility was hit deliberately. 
Deliver it. So there we go. Oh, so much money. True objectives of this place. And the sabotage. Diseases. Foot and mouth disease. Introduced at the embryo stage. What do we got? Genetic research. We've got the capybara. Right at the beginning. What did I miss? Then we have our next research coming in, which we will do in the next episode. So we're going to go with, not right now, Stegoceratops, which will be cool. That's a cool looking one. Uh, stop talking, Dr. Wee. So that's going to be it for this episode, where, of course, we got the Ankylodocus right here. There's our new Ankylodocus. Looks so cool. It's all nice and fun. Um, weird looking dino, but pretty cool at the same time. I like the ball thing on its tail. But that's going to be it for this episode today of Jurassic World Evolution. I hope you enjoyed playing the secrets of Dr. Wu. He's got all sorts of secrets and we're going to discover them all. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up for me. Leave any comments you have down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more Jurassic World Evolution videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.